we're freaking doing it. I'm starting this vlog way too late. <laughs> But I'm here and we are killing it, ready to go on day five of my kickstart challenge. Can you guys believe we're on day five? I don't even know what the heck's going on. I, I really don't. I'm here, I'm rocking, I'm feeling a little nervous for this upcoming week. It's Monday, it's technically Labor Day. It's technically <laughs> Labor Day. And I think I told you guys I'm going out of town on Wednesday. And uh, to be honest, I feel like I bit off a little bit more than I could chew because us going out of town, we're going across the country all the way to Portland, Oregon, meaning we've got like a lot of time traveling and I still am not entirely sure what I'm gonna be bringing on this trip and I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen when we get down there and all this stuff. Um, so on top of this, naturally, let's do daily vlogs. <laughs> All I know for sure is I am still here, still doing this, and I'm still showing everything on my day five of my Kickstarter challenge, and I am right here with you. So for anybody here who is still crushing it on day five of our Kickstarter challenge, great job. I am so proud of you, and we're gonna keep trucking. If you guys are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ashley. I make a bunch of healthy lifestyle content. My phone needs to get turned on silent, but I would love to have you here. Please join our little community. Please be sure to subscribe down below because right now we are in the middle of of documenting a full seven day kickstart challenge, kickstarting our eating habits, kickstarting our workouts, kickstarting all of the things to get really structured into routine before the last few months of the year. And I really feel like these last few days have done just that. And I feel like I'm about to be really put to the test when I go out of town, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna find a way through it. Also, if you're new here, just so you know, I'm in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia five in one plan since transition over to my 4 2 and one plan. But if you're looking into Optavia or you're currently on your Optavia plan, this is going to be the channel for you. Or if you're just looking for a little bit of healthy lifestyle inspo, I'm here for that too. I'm here for all of the things. And if you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. The basics of the 5 and one plan, the plan that most clients start out on, is going to be you consuming five fuelings a day that get sent to you in your monthly Optavia box, and then one lean and green meal a day. All of your fuelings and your lean greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. So all that being said, you guys, I'm here to share everything that I eat in a day, my workouts, my packing, my all of the things that are happening this week, going into this trip, and also how I plan to stay on track with my health goals through it all. Also, I don't think I mentioned um, that sound is the washer. I'm currently doing all of my laundry right now. I'm trying to plan out my outfits for this thing coming up. There's just all of the things going on. But regardless, I'm gonna keep showing you guys everything that happens so that we can stay on track together. So just to bring you up to speed, I have already had fueling number one. I made my my pumpkin chocolate chip pancakes. All right, this recipe that I actually had on my channel like way, way back when I very first started my journey was like one of the very first fueling hacks I ever did. And I was so proud of myself for coming up with it because I was like, this is actually so good. And like, I'm really excited about it. I'm like, I'm hoping people like it too when I made my first video and everybody loved it. And honestly, if you have not tried it, you freaking need to. Yesterday when we went to Target and I found that pumpkin whipped cream, I was inspired. I was like, I gotta try this with the pumpkin whipped cream. And you guys saw the pumpkin golden chocolate chip pancakes make two pancakes. So if you add in, I did a quarter cup of water and then I did one tablespoon of pumpkin puree for one condiment. I mixed it together to make two full pancakes and then I just did a dollop of my pumpkin spice whipped cream with just a dash of my pumpkin pie spice. The whipped cream counted as one condiment and the pumpkin puree counted as one condiment. Yes, that was pretty much the majority of my condiments for today, but I have no problem with that because it was absolutely delicious. Delicious. When you add in pumpkin puree into any of your fuelings, and it doesn't have to be just a fall thing, it really just makes it taste so much fluffier. The consistency is so good. And I feel like I get so many people complaining about the taste of the golden chocolate chip pancake. Number one, it gets so much fluffier if you only leave it in your dash for a minute. But if you wanna go the extra mile and take it up a notch, adding in one tablespoon of pumpkin puree will make it so good, gotta try it. Anyway, I made my pumpkin golden chocolate chip pancakes today and it absolutely made my life. I'll tell you what, I have been missing that recipe in my life and it needed to happen. And I'll tell you that pumpkin spice whipped cream, very good. It was just a hint of pumpkin. It's not like overwhelmingly pumpkin, so don't expect that. Part of me kind of wishes it was orange. <laughs> 
Is that just me? Probably not. Probably should just be white. Less orange. But if it was pumpkin, I kind of would be down for it to be orange. You know what I mean? Anyway, still very, very good. And I highly recommend checking out that whipped cream if you haven't yet. Still counts the same as any other whip. I looked at the nutrition. Two tablespoons counts as one condiment. And you gotta let me know how it is. I did have one of my girls text me today letting me know that she tried the maple vanilla that Target has as well. There's like a maple vanilla whipped cream and she said it was awful. Um, anyway, that's all I know on the other ones. I think they also have like toasted marshmallow. I think they have I don't know. They've got a bunch of different flavors for fall time, like, and I'm here for that. Um, but all I know is I've tasted the pumpkin spice and it's very good. So highly recommend. Other than that, I made my pumpkin spice nut pods coffee today. I have been loving that this week and especially in the fall time. I feel like I get a splash of pumpkin right in the beginning of the morning. And today was all of the pumpkin and I'm so here for it. So that was everything that I've already had so far. Also just wanted to let you guys know, Zach and I already have been like adventuring a little bit today. We went on a quick drive throughout Nashville. It's just nice to get out and just explore, especially since we're traveling. We're currently traveling on adventures from A to Z. We've been traveling for a little over a year now, just staying in Airbnb to Airbnb, trying to figure out where we want to live one day. And we just love Nashville. There's just such a vibe. There's so many great people here and we just love kind of driving around and exploring a little bit. So we did that today. And yeah, I'm like a little off schedule. I'll be honest with you, but that's okay. All I know for sure is I need to get a little bit of work done today. I need to get all of my laundry done today. I'm going to try to plan plan out my outfits for this upcoming trip. And if I get to that, I'm gonna show you guys because I kind of need some opinions. <laughs> I ordered some stuff off Amazon. I picked up a couple things from Target and like, I'm just not really sure if this is all gonna work. You know how when you like are kind of picking up pieces here and there and like orders are coming in and blah, blah, blah. And you're like hoping my vision comes to life. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, whenever I do that, I'll show you guys. I also ordered myself a new laptop bag. I wanted to go in style up to Portland because I knew this was also gonna be a leadership retreat with Optavia. Um, and I knew I wanted to be able to bring my laptop with me whenever we do end up going to trainings or anything like that. So I. I wanted to make sure I had a cute laptop bag that matched my outfits and also the one that I have that I had when I very first started traveling I feel like it's a little too bulky it's a little too big so I ordered another one anyway I think it's gonna be here really soon so whenever it gets here I'll show you guys but anyway that's our day we're gonna keep on trucking thank you so much for tuning in for day five of my kickstart challenge we're gonna keep moving forward and no matter where you're at in your journey I am proud of you and all you really need to focus on right now is just trying to be one step better than we were yesterday Yesterday, and that's exactly what we're doing here on my channel. Welcome to the journey. We're gonna keep it moving and I'm gonna bring the camera along today. So let's get started. I don't even know what I get in your head. Seeking your attention, but someone said, Cause I hope you look my way, but no, no, you didn't even see me in case it's a day. Feeling every day like I'm going insane. For every day So I hope you look my way But yeah, yeah She didn't even see me gaze as a day Cause I know I am nobody to ya And it feels just like you want me to go now But I hope you slow it down Hope you slow it down Cause what I really need is your time So will you like me like Okay guys, just got back from my walk I'm about to make my lean and green number one. I'm just gonna do a flavors of home. But really quick, my new laptop bag came. I'm thinking we should check it out, see if it's worth that. Thought it was interesting that it didn't come in Amazon packaging. They just stuck my label like right on the outside of the bag. So um, that was a little interesting. But let me, has a little dust bag. I got it in this darker, like almost rust color. Thought that was very in for the fall season. And the biggest reason why I wanted to do this one was because it was a little thinner and I feel like it'll hold its shape a little bit better. I felt like my other bag, I always had to like overstuff it just so it would hold its shape. So I'm hoping if I just put like my laptop and my iPad in here, it'll be good. Looks like it's got like quite a few compartments. You've got like a place for your pens. We could do like a place for my phone. And then it has a full like long handle. Let me get the plastic off and show you what I think this is gonna look like with everything in it. Okay, I think this is gonna work. So we've got a little pocket right here. I feel like that's where I could just like throw my phone if I really need to. And then inside I've got a zipper 
which is good. And then I've got my laptop here in this little like padded compartment. And then my iPad is right here. And then I could throw a couple more like pens and pencils. I could do a book right here. I think that'll be good. But my other one was just like so big that I felt like it didn't hold its shape. So this should be good. And I feel like it's a good color for fall. Yeah. I'm gonna go with all the fall outfits in Portland. I love that. I'll link this down below if you also need a laptop bag, but I figure why not just snag one on Amazon and then you can get a cute color. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. Egos in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. If we figured out what it's all about, takes a second and then we're back it up. You guys checking in I just got a little bit of work done and yes laundry is still going it's been going all day long I feel like our house just has been making perpetual noise all day long so I'm sorry if they're in all of these clips I'm gonna make lean and green number two I'm gonna do my cheesy beef and cauliflower rice bowl that recipe is so freaking good and it is the easiest recipe ever if you just have a little bit of ground beef and cauliflower rice and a little bit of laughing cow it's just that good and it's so simple you just don't need to overanalyze like it's that easy you don't have to make an over complicated lean and green. That is one of the best ones just to have in your back pocket. So I'm gonna make that one really quick for lean and green number two. Also, I just have to give a quick shout out to Zach because if you guys have been seeing, number one, the editing, I mean, the fact that we've been having videos go up every single day this week, I wish I could take credit for that. <laughs> Zach has joined the Schlee's Health Journey team. I'm just saying. And I need you all to give him some love in the comments. I've been going back and forth with him today, like checking out what he's been working on for each day and his edits just get better and better and better. So I feel like we're basically doing music videos at this point every time I do a recipe and it's freaking amazing. He is such a power player. Like I, he's, he's so much better at editing than I even am. Every time I've edited, I'm just trying to go as fast as I possibly can because I need to get the video out. But like, he's just, he's just on it. He's so good. and. I'm just so glad that like we've been able to team up and get these videos out for you guys. So if you can just like give him a little love in the comments, that would be great. Um, Cause he's freaking crushing it. And I'm just saying ever since we decided to have him help with the editing side, we've got lots of cool stuff coming at you guys. Just stay tuned. Anyway, give him some love in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and start leaning green number two. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, want you all night long Want you all night long Tell me Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Okay, you guys, it is that time of the night. It is the end of the vlog. And I just wanted to let you guys know I'm having fueling number four. I'm gonna have my dark chocolate coconut curry bar. I've spoken about this before. This is my favorite bar of the moment. And if you haven't tried it, you need to. These are on the select part of the Optivia site if you guys wanna try them out. I like the chewy consistency, but some people don't. So I'm just saying, if you're into chewy, this is my favorite bar of right now. So anyway, other than that, we had a pretty successful day five of our Kickstart challenge, finished my full tracker for the day and really just ready to get to bed because I have Pilates in the morning. I have Pilates at 7 a.m. And although I do not like that time, which I've spoken about this before, I choose that time. I don't need to, but I choose to. Even though I don't like that time, I actually am looking forward to it tomorrow. And I feel like it's just getting easier and easier for me to actually start looking forward to it and being excited for the feeling afterwards. So I actually already set out all of my Pilates clothes for the morning because I already know that I need to be quiet because Zach is probably going to be asleep. And number two, um, 
I will have no idea what the heck is happening with my life at five in the morning and I just need as many things to be like planned out and done so that I don't have to make any decisions and I don't have to make any excuses. So ready to go for Pilates tomorrow. I'm gonna have my bar really quick. To be honest with you, I'm just like too tired to make a few links. So bar it is. And I'm just here to tell you that you crushed it too on day five of our Kickstart challenge. We only have a couple days left of vlogs. I really appreciate you guys following along and watching this whole journey with me. I'm seeing your comments and I'm seeing everybody enjoy these so thank you so much for following along and tuning in i will see you guys bright and early for kickstart day six at probably around 5 a.m for pilates but that's okay because we're in this together so i hope you all have a fabulous rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this thank you so so much for tuning in if you guys like this video please be sure to like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload because i have new videos going live for you guys every single day of this week and i cannot wait to continue this kickstart challenge with you thank you so much for watching please stay safe stay healthy and i I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.